My name is Chris Bishop. I'm giving a lecture on the science of fireworks. My background is physics, but I've always had a passion for chemistry ever since I was a teenager. My name is Chris Brackstone. I'm senior technician over here in the physical and theoretical department of chemistry in Cambridge. I'm going to be helping Chris Bishop with the preparations and the lecture of science of fireworks. So Chris Braxton is the technician here in the chemistry department who helps him with these lectures and he's been absolutely fantastic. He put a huge amount of effort into uh, preparing for the lectures and actually helping me deliver the lectures. Chris is a lot of fun to work with. He's a very good sense of humour. He's a bit like me. We have a lot of common ground. I think we both share the same kind of enthusiasm for it. I mean, we're both, both still kids, which is great. So in choosing the demonstrations to go into the lecture, I think there are two things that are important. First of all, it should be engaging in some way so that people enjoy it. But also, it should try to illustrate some scientific principle and fit into the story of the lecture. Well, the lecture is obviously mostly about the science of fireworks, so there's a lot more than just the whizzes and bangs and light shows that you're, you're going to expect from the fireworks display. It's going to be explaining how these things happen. What I hope people will get from the lecture is, first of all, enjoyment at seeing some of the demonstrations, but also some insights into how fireworks are actually constructed, how they work, how those lovely effects are produced. But I also want people to come away understanding some of the science that makes fireworks possible. Everybody, when they're a child, has always sat there every November watching the lights in the sky. And there can't be many people out there who haven't wondered, how do you get that colour? How do you get that crackle? How do you get that spark? Um, and this is going to go some way of explaining it. Something I love about doing this kind of lecture is that sort of audience engagement, seeing the reaction of the audience, doing something that's a little bit surprising, they're not quite expecting, and get, getting that lovely reaction from them. One of the things I do during the lecture is ask for some volunteers to come down and help me with some experiments. And not only is that fun for the volunteers themselves, but I think it helps the whole audience get a sort of sense of empathy with the, with the volunteers and feel that they too are participating in the experiments. My favourite firework is something called a strobe shell. You see an explosion in the sky and then these lovely twinkling points of light. The reason I love the strobe shell is first of all because it's very beautiful, but also because the science, the chemistry that makes it possible is not really understood. I think it's fascinating that fireworks have been around for a thousand years and yet there are still mysteries and puzzles to be solved. <laughs>